Emperor Hamburg, he called himself. This goblin claimed to have found the shard. But what his goblin horde was constructing was no crystal tower. There was only one way into the canyon where Hamburg was building his tower. Its entry was held by Goffin's door. But the door's runestone locks were scattered across Rugrib's quarter. And so before we stormed the tower, we would recover the runestones, engage those locks on Goffin's door, and seal Hamburg in. Seal the Hamburg. <clears throat> there we go. You like his starter axe? Look better than any of the drops you've gotten so far? Yeah. But all the other stuff comes with one extra damage. So, it's like... <laughs> but I agree, the starter one looks sort of axy. That one looks... I don't know, like we're gonna... Clean roof tiles. Come on, game. There we go. Okay, retrieve the mugs. 15 mugs and kill a dude. We didn't kill the optional dude. <laughs> I haven't really been paying enough attention to the rewards from doing the, thi when the we things. Reclaim our holes, I Traps. swear the mortar will be made wet with goblin blood. Oh, oh, oh. Um, yeah, I gotta pay more attention when I when I complete one of these quests to see what if we get rewards then. Is it just experience? Like a windshield scraper, yep, yep. Like to get ice off in in the winter. <laughs> it does. Oh man, I can't unsee that now. <laughs> It's like I just want to give him a couple bucks at the traffic lights and wave him on his way. Don't don't put your dirty water on my um and your dirty rag on my windshield. It's fine. Here, here's some money. Go away. Mug. Oh man, I'm gonna have to make a pan's mug emote. Hey, Wampham, thanks so much for the Prime. Hope I pronounced that correctly. Wampham or Wampham? Wampham. I'm going Wampham. Appreciate it, dude. Wampham. Alright, I'll try to remember that. I'm going to screw it up, so I apologize. Wampham. Yeah, okay. Oh, so you started with um, with Bruner as well then? 
Have you played any of the other characters? Oh, so much damage to his health. Look at that. Oh, no, they're the bad ones. Dude, seriously, I can't believe anyone complained about that. It's so cool when they when they just go flying off into the air. Oh, I thought they were going to be closer then. Oh, we get... Okay, they get destroyed and I do get something. Oh, so you've at least done the tutorials on that one. I, um, I started, um, Dwarf's the male human, right? I, I started him up as a character just to, when I was setting up for OBS, because I knew I'd be playing as the, as the dwarf. Um, so I bounced him around with his big hammer just to, um, oh, get wrecked, idiot. But I, 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 he's probably the one I'm least, least looking forward to playing. One, because he's a dirty human. Sappers nice. will have scattered the runestone locks for Goffin's door. They all bonus. need to be recovered and returned to the door so it can be locked. Ah, uh, Caddybury seems fun, but Drizzt's the one I'm really looking forward to playing, other than the dwarf, because like it's a dwarf, right? You got to play as a dwarf. Look at that beard. Um. But Drizzt looks fun, nice and fast. Dwarf, dwarf, doy. Always dwarf or orc. Yeah, always dwarf. Um, then orc, I guess. Always dwarf. And human always last. If at all. Dirty humans. Okay, except okay, I can make an exception, especially for Dorf, because he looks Viking. Elf last, yeah. <sighs> Tree hugging knife ears. Um, I don't know, like. It's like one of those, um, you know, family kept dark secrets where there's this uh, someone actually, you know, falls in love with an elf sort of thing. It's like that dirty little. I'm going to play as an elf. Dolphin um, made this door when he still had. Yeah, you know, so that's that's allowed. You know, just maybe don't tell your parents yeah. or something. They don't understand the. <clears throat> and it's 2021 and all, but still, playing as an elf. Yeah, I can I can understand. I think when you get like <clears throat> game history characters like like Dro, you know, and get like the any dark sort of ranger, that kind of makes them okay-ish, but still never played before Dwarf or Orc. I don't know what the range is on this. <laughs> Yeet. I, I no. That's that still blows my mind. That someone would complain about the yeet and think it's a bug. Like, that's clearly the design choice of, let's get him out of here. <laughs> You're out of here, buddy. Oh, 
A short rest. I haven't read the Salvatore books. You're the second person who's asked me about that. So I need to ask, what what are that? I'm going to assume it's some um, d and I'm not going to go with a campaign. Let's go with lore. Just a, oh, what's it called? Fan fiction? Oh, I found a mug. Now I'm concerned that the um <clears throat> the mug quest is linked to an achievement. We're gonna have to find them. Uh, fan fiction just usually goes to... Well, if it's canon now, it's not. Fan fiction can go to anything that's um, in the greater... Um, like the expanded yeah. universe. Yeah. That's cool that it gets written... Um, ca yeah, canon's probably the right word. If it's... Um, usually for canon, it needs to be accepted by the IP holder as what happened in the time frame. Drizzt and Elminster are the main two characters you think of when you think of D&D. &D. All right, Drizzt's the um, uh, the archer character, right? Uh, assassin, sorry. Dro Ranger elf dude, yeah. Yeah, he's got a cool, um, is that where we came from? I'm trying to jump over there to get to somewhere, but I think that's where we came from. He's got a cool, um, little bit in the opening video. I want to get up to there. Miss Tinty. Yeah, but don't tell the others. I did open that, yep.
Okay, let's continue. No, we went that way, so we go backtrack here. But man, these zones are just so good. All the little deviations and like circular paths, they round back onto each other. Which I think, like, there's, you know, and we're going up like a spot like this now. Um, because I'm looking for these mugs. Oh, here's one. Right, which then could, instead of leading to a dead end, like this one's led to a dead end. But a lot of them just join the path up somewhere else. And you're like, okay, do I need to actually go back? Or is it fine to keep going from here? Um... And we came from there, but did I come from... Did I even see that staircase? Or did I go down there? Yep, that's... We've got that chest. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. The, the atmosphere is just top-notch. I need that to... Oh, it's deflecting. <laughs> trying to get sneaky in there. <laughs> it's not as... Yeah, kill that archer at the back if that if I landed that. I could have got that from um further up before pulling. There you go. There we go. Only took ten tries. I didn't buy any more moves last time. I should be learning a new move right now. And my ulti's been charged forever. I think that's how things... So I don't do the ulti as much. I should go for the, um, whatchamacallit, strike. That eats the ulti meter instead. That'd be a better use of combat. Better use of combat? Wow, Pan's words. Here we go! Here we go! Yeah, like that. I should be definitely doing that on the bigger guys. Yeah, definitely should be using that on the bigger guys. What's around here? There's just always also seems to be something around every corner. You know, it, it really is a leave no stone unturned sort of setting. There's the mark. Uh, someone was watching it and or watching a um, before it came out a video on it on this and said it had vermintide feels, which I haven't played. Goblins are just as good at building as dwarves. 
But if anyone has played, how do you think that stands up? Okay, you can't use an empowered strike against a Verbeek. I'll pound your tender, Mark. Get on that hook. It ain't right to be killed by a union tank. Any mugs? No. Oh, there's another one of these. Okay, so we're obviously taking a bunch of these to somewhere. Need to find seven mugs. And make sure we hit the elimination. Stones won't find themselves. Rune stones won't find themselves. I didn't have enough ulti to hit him. I wasn't thinking about that. I'd used it all up on... I think I'd used up all my ulti juice on something else. That's why I could <laughs> empower the Verbeek. And the mugs. Why does that feel like a door that I should be able to get in? It feels like, um... Oh, there wasn't one in the previous zone, but there was uh, an attribute. Is there an attribute gain in every zone? There was one in the first one and one in the second zone. There wasn't one in the third, but there was no optional quests either. Huh. <coughs> Mug. Where's all this water coming from? Oh, man. I smell it. <laughs> I'm going to take this one seriously. Get him. It's just so fun. Increase loot rarity. That won't let me. Go 
because I hadn't looted the thing, maybe. Interesting, but it doesn't matter. Alright, let's quickly go back up the path. Just a short bit. See if there was any mugs. Oh, we got loot, though. A ring. Don't need to check anywhere else. Okay, game wants me to go that way, but there's stuff over here. Mug. 10 out of 15 mugs. Oh, okay, can't make that at all. No, no, fall down. Uh oh. <laughs> Pans, pay attention. How do I get over to there? Have I already been to over there? No. I haven't already been to over there. Otherwise, there'd be, um... Alright, I'm going to try from this way. Because it just, I don't know, i got a hunch. Uh, hunch feels bad now. That feels like going that way and left and left and left isn't going to make it. Okay, so hopefully we get around to there going moving forward. Yeah, just the sheer scope of the missions feels good. The sappers collapse the dam. What a joy that will be to rebuild. And a lot of the drop-in, drop-out style yeah. games, you know, play with randos, have a lot smaller size missions. And I think that's to prevent, like, the failure of people on the internet having to play with each other. Uh, you know, worst case scenario, you know, it's over soon. But you miss out on that opportunity of when you get a good team of people that just want to do it. Um, you don't, because the mission ends. Whereas this feels like could suffer that problem but you know maybe it's not a problem maybe you just end up with a bunch of players that you know join a mission and then just smash it out and have a great time especially when you get like when you get like-minded people playing and you just smash out a, a really long mission it would feel really good wouldn't it Yeah, you just can't use an empower on a Vibu. Which does feel a little weird. But. Never happened. Mug? Oh, I got 11. Still haven't found Uke Ratbane.
Is that one of those things? No. Okay, I need something else for that. <laughs> Up the stairs. going on with those spikes. Yeah, there it is there. Oh, there's a book as well. Book! Look at the gold. <clears throat> Dwarves be rich. Another mug. Right. Oh, is this that section that we saw? Mm, I don't think it is. There's a mug. We're up to 12. Well, this is getting exciting. Where did we go? We went 7 for 8 in the first quest, then 9 for 10 in the second, then we completed the one in the previous mission. Although in the previous mission, we didn't kill the, um, the one-off dude that you need to kill. I was half expecting a mug to be sitting just out in the open some Oh, what are these? Come, you scum. Oh, there's Yook. Well shit. <laughs> I guess, dude. Sorry, man. Epic neck piece. Alright, we gotta work out something here. Oh. Give me another mug though, game. Oh, there it is. There's a circle there. Oh, has it got a different symbol? It's got those sort of symbols in it. Which is the same as those ones, right? Oh, and it's got the eight-pointed star. There it is. And then this one is a circle with a f just a square in it. So we want... Yeah. Ah, we want the one that joins the circle square to the circle 8. Like that, right? I can only have one of them. Well, then I want... Oh, and there's a number of rings inside them. Hang on. Look at all the intricacies. Three circles, one square. No. Right, then on this side, it's two circles, two squares.
Which is that one, yeah. Two circles, two squares goes to, is it like something like this? Maybe it's supposed to indicate a piece that it's on. This one first, since I don't know, can we look at it and then go back? <clears throat> it's also got two circles right in the middle of it. I don't know if that matters. There's these other patterns on the other ones. Two circles, two squares. That's two circles, one square. That one's got... Oh, now it's not lit up. Two circles, two squares. circles one square All right, so that one's lit up this time or is that one's not that's two circles yeah that's two circles two squares it's that one Ah, is there a missing piece? No, there's a dwarven mug though. That's 13 of 15. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that one there is linked with this one, right? As soon as I... S and the one over there is linked with the other one, which means there's probably one to pick out of the other two somewhere ah oh, there it is so that one is it's like three squares two outer squares and a you know what? It's that one. Right. And then this one is just the 50 50. There you go. It's an attribute point. Yeah. 
So I was wondering about that. There, there was an attribute point in the first two chapters of the first... The first two acts of the first scenario. But there wasn't an attribute point in the previous act of this scenario. So I wonder if I missed it. Or if they're just... Is it attribute points in all of them? I tried to do some sneaky swim slide underneath me. <laughs> hey Zergos, how you doing man? Yeah, we're playing... No, we're not playing as Dorf, we're playing as Bruna. I think Dorf's the name of one of the other guys. Come, buddy. Oh, oh, that's 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 charming, man. down. Still looking for two more dwarf mugs. Two more Dwarven mugs. I think... Oh, this is the spot we saw. <laughs> and... We had to hope that we'd end up coming around here. And we have. So that's plus. 
The yeet is real, man. It's so good. Now, let's... I still need two dwarven mugs. Why do we have to keep using the tunnels to get to the tower? Because the door is locked, Kafoy. Every so much. Hello, <laughs> Okay, get warm, then I can run over the thing. Oh, there's a warm spot here. Doesn't sound right when you say it like that. <laughs> All right, we, we need one dwarven mug three times we've we've found all but one of the optional quest reward i mean i think we're getting better at looking for them but it's still fr <laughs> you know like yay we almost found them all. All that extra walking around and looking for stuff was almost worth it. Okay, so here's the problem. That is going to seal the door and I think is going to um, end the quest. So let's run up here first. Just to find out, we are going to finish 14 of 15 on the Dwarven Mugs Optional. Man, Optional has never felt so sad. Oh my... <sighs> fudge. Literal fudge. <laughs> Feels fudge with people fudge. <laughs> Is that <laughs> I mean, I don't want to backtrack too far because this map is huge. Like, all of them are huge. Except, surprisingly enough, the very first one, which is really small, but took the longest. <laughs> I can have a quick look around this sort of area, but I'm not... Backtracking all that far. Ah. <sighs> um, 
Yeah, we're not going back any further. Feels, feels um, missing one man. Feels one short. Go in the cage. All right. You can get fudge in the chat. I would like to make fudge with you. <laughs> it actually works. <laughs> oh, oh, pog, pog is pog slide. Cog is all the pogs. People clap. Uh. Where was that sitting? Like just there or something? Okay. I don't care. <laughs> that made cheers pretty good too. Oh, make fudge. With the make fudge comment, you could have had Pepe poo. -poo. <laughs> Wait, there's three bosses. All right, let's get rid of the little guy first. Three chairs for the little boy. I have a feeling he was going to break break me free, whether I liked it or not, just then. Oh, dude, he just acts his bo the boss's friendly fire as well. Cool. Oh, I wonder if I'm gonna be the um <clears throat> the best team player. Hey Zergos, it's uh drop in, drop out like Warframe. Except with long missions. This old dwarf still on top of his game. Yes. And yours. Do the Pepe's. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> if ever you get bored, you can always like just browse the emotes on um, on BTTV and see if you um, clap is barred <laughs> and see if there's any um, uh, ones you want. <clears throat> okay. So I've got I think I think some of that strength is from gear. I wonder if we just keep strengthening up. Like why would we do anything else?
Durga Infiltrator, Elemental Resistant, Armor Penetration, Elemental Penetration. Okay, so you do get some resistances with the, the Durga stuff. Reveal all. Pans Penetrate. I don't know if I'd be allowed to have that one. <laughs> Saw a troll the other day. Get a uh, Keeper of Secrets axe. Impressive. Looks like all the axes are the same damage. Also looks like you just get more... Um, Be like these all have one bonus stat. <clears throat> Blue ones have two, epics have three. Do the gold ones have four? Why is every game that comes out now multiplayer? Because games that come out as single player, everyone says, oh, do you know how cool this game would be with multiplayer? Wow, imagine if Slay the Spire had multiplayer. Whoa, imagine if Monster Train had multiplayer. Man, I wish FTL had multiplayer. Um, so, so other people hear that and they're like, oh, people want these games multiplayer. I'm going to make a multiplayer game. And everyone's like, yeah, but I want to play it by myself. It's like, <clears throat> so it's not, it's, it's the idiots that speak out loud are the ones that say they want it as multiplayer. That's the problem that happens. So it was like, no, I don't want a multiplayer. I don't blame you. I don't want multi half the games that are multiplayer. I mean, Fortnite would be an amazing game if it was just single player. <laughs> Wait, what? I'd win every single BR. Force multiplier is no buy. <clears throat> yeah. Being able to play solo is good. I still think this would be good multiplayer. But not right now. I want a solo YOLO. Does Monster Train's multiplayer... Does Monster Train actually have multiplayer? I was just making a joke. Wonder what's going on in the Underdark today. Because it sounds like the dumbest thing you could ever put in a game. <laughs> what do we do? Take turns? You play first, then I'll play second. Oh, the, um, the, yeah, I know the ones now. The ones where you go up against other people for speed or points. No, it doesn't count. You know, I only knew Regis a short while, a day or two at most. Because it forces a meta play that's I stupid. Because there's no penalty for failure. <clears throat> um... It's a someone I can't remember who did it said it, but in the one of the interviews for the Path of Exile Gauntlet finish, someone said what was happening now is that for the speedrunners, it's just even though they're playing hardcore, what happened Shots is people started playing at the fastest breakneck speed possible in terms of getting through the content, and eventually someone was just going to be able to do it without dying, <clears throat> because there's no reaper like you just you're out of this competition if you die. But you also don't win if you go slow enough. And so a lot of, like the the Monster Train multiplayer, what that does is it forces everyone just to always build bottom path, always um, go for as quick as possible. Could you go on an and because you've got however many people you were up against would all work, like there'd be enough people that would do that. You could try to take the safe play and, and try to win when everyone else dies. But usually when... Um, enough people have died whoever's zo whoever the, the the last zoomer remaining that's when they slow down and you're too far behind meta players like poe fox yeah um because there's no 
in video games, there's no consequence of losing this week. Right? Because there's no aggregate. Right? Whereas... Um, Yeah, if, if there was an aggregate in, in a lot of games, then you wouldn't have that sort of play, and the multi multiplayer might actually start feeling meaningful. But that was the biggest issue with the Monster Train one. There, there was no aggregate, so it was just... Zuma strategy was the only one. It sucks when games have that sort of thing. Anyway, let's hit the next story up. We had sealed Hambu within his canyon, but left unchecked, he would eventually break free. If that happened, all of Ten Towns would suffer raids from his goblin horde. And so now was the time to assault his throne. Once Hambu was defeated, we would tear down his tower and restore dignity to at least this <coughs> part of the Dwarven Valley. Nice. The goblin shard. Mm. Let's get you Hamburg. Okay, so same as the f Act 3 of the first well, that location, there's no optional quest. Tower, then I'm a skinny elf. Can't wait till I get the swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> the baby mankini. Oh. bought moves for ages though. I should be buying more moves. You'd hand over some bucks, some some bucks for a cosmetic dwarf skin kini. Oh, 
protected by the Booyah. Come here, buddy. Once I've rid the world of this Hamburg, I can tear down that bloody tower. That's right. Take that XB gain. Collected one relief. Okay. Loot rarity bonus applied. <laughs> Never buy cosmetics, you'd bend the rules that one. Note to sell put Dwarf Kini in any game I put out. Overpriced. Cosmetic. I mean, reason, reasonable price. That so-called tower is an insult and an abomination. I think there's a, someone's got a mode of like a gnome with it. You know those skinny gnomes with the pointy hats? Yeah. Like the long, um, almost dunce caps. I think there's an emote with a like one of those wearing a gnome kini. With a long grey beard. Add soundtrack as bonus content, man. Add Dwarf Kini cosmetic in your jam. And your hide is mine for big. Your hide is mine, puppy. Stop throwing arrows at oh, shooting throwing. Stop throwing arrows. He <laughs> said being a goblin sucks. Yeah, it sucks to be you, goblin boy. that one I'd feel a little cheese but you know that's a bit far apparently oh, so many lore items Yeah. 
I feel like there's a lack of music at the moment. It's feelings brought about by the fact that there's a lack of music at the moment. Yeah, the yeet is great, man. That smash into the ground that sends him sliding for a while is pretty yeah. good too. But the, um, enlist them into the Kerbal Space Program, um, without them even knowing it, it's so much better. Big ladder there. So I think I'm going to go investigate. Perhaps I've seen this. I will collect your gold. Reminds me of the dude, the um, uh, King Julian from Madagascar. <clears throat> Get his dance on. Got his underlings.
This one's powered down. This totem's dead. Alright, hamburger. Whoa. Oh, he's hot. complete. Hey, get wrecked, Gooblins. I wonder if in the multiplayer, because it's got the other icons, right? The hammer dude from the human dude. I hope you were paying attention. Driz I and was out there giving lessons. Caddy Breeze. I wonder if you can do a group with four people of the same class, or if you have to do it with one of each. Because one of each is very restricted for um, party building, right? <laughs> you should have seen four dwarfs barreling through. Okay, if I put the point in constitution, I get effectively one sword, three shield, four fist. If I put in strength, I get four, four, and eight of the same attributes. That's I have no reason to put anything other than strength. We'll get to put a feet in. Right. <clears throat> level five now, so we can have a look at this. What's this hammer one? <clears throat> Physical damage bonus for five seconds after blocking an attack. Fifteen percent, not bad. What about in the anvil? 
Minus 15% stamina cost on blocks. I really want to know. Elemental resistance. Armor bonus. I mean, we're going to have to get round to there anyway. <clears throat> I like the idea of the armor bonus. I don't really care for those ones. But I want more damage. We're not blocking a lot, though. What's at the forge? Stamina. <laughs> Merchant reduction point. 7% gold drop. Uh, what are these ones? Damage bonus after sprinting. Damage bonus after parrying. Damage bonus after blocking. Self damage is straight up 5%. I think I'm just going to be taking all of the damage bonus ones. And we only got green on, we got no epic items. Best friend I've ever had. Hmm. Should probably buy a move. <clears throat> Didn't bought one for a while. Do we need more moves though? That's irrelevant. I don't get that to level 7. <clears throat> Stomping Quake. <laughs> Unblockable foot stomp shockwave that could launch us into the air. I mean... <clears throat> Rising Axe. Where's Whirlwind? There's Whirlwind. Spinning Axe deals damage and applies sapped and slowed. Spin to win, man. I think that's the goal, right? Is spin to win, yeah? You try the foot stomp. I've got to remember to do that more you often than the art. Yeah, no. Me neither. It's just like that spin over and then you launch the shield move. Under the dungeon. For big have taken control. I want to actually compare the item sets. So I know which one I want to try to <clears throat> build up. Because even though you can have a look at the um, the equipment. I just want to find out if the um, it's the Horde Raiders. Elemental damage reduction. That's what we've got on. Yeah, I want to try and find out like what the set, not just the set bonuses. We can see the set bonuses. What we're looking for is the um, <clears throat> what the other bonuses can be. Like that one's max hit points and stamina cost. That one's fire resist. So 
1637, that's stamina. Combat power is the fist. Right, okay. Uh, I see something. Alright, no, maybe. I don't know. 